Hello, my loves. You guys, this is the first time in probably two years that I'm using my actual camera to film and not using my phone because it's like, get it in when you can with the baby, you guys know. So he's napping right now. I quickly got myself ready is not the word. We went for a run slash walk. I showered and I fixed my hair. I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. It does not look good. I need my phone for this video. We're just going with it. I plugged in my lights. They're broken. They don't work. Great YouTuber. So I'm petrified. That's the whole point in telling you that I'm on the camera, that I'm doing something wrong because I haven't used it in so long. So I checked the mic 500 times because that's been a problem. Even when I was filming all the time, I forgot to turn it on. I'm like checking all the settings. This is like an old school row video and I'm so excited about it. I found this originally on one of the Prison Wife support pages. I see this post and I wish I could give credit to who it was, but it was one of those, like, you know, when you pop on your page and it doesn't refresh and you see it and you're like, oh, that's awesome. And then you go to like take a screenshot or do whatever. And then that's when it refreshes and that post disappears and everything that like came after it is there that's what happened so i have no idea who posted it but i want to give you credit if you're here watching this for some reason this made me double over laughing basically in a nutshell i wanted to screenshot so i could show you guys who it was you could follow her i can't she said in a nutshell free her because dot 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 sis i understand yes girl i was laughing so hard <laughs> Before we get started, let me just tell you about my hair really quick. Irresistible Me sent over the most beautiful extensions. I've done a collab with them once in the past. I've never had curly hair extensions. I've only ever had straight hair extensions, although 99.9999% of the time I wear my hair curly. Us curly girls, like when the curly girl method was huge, we're always told don't straighten your hair. Very rarely did, but I have such fine hair that when I have an event or something, I always put in extensions. I would always have to straighten it. Well, Irresistible Me came out with a line of curly extensions and aren't these gorgeous. I'll insert footage of me putting them in. This is just like a little bit longer than my hair, but they have them in really long. They have them in moderate length, moderate <laughs> sporty length. Just kidding, that's nails. I just love these. And what I love about them is they match so well. They have people on the site that will match you. And if you have straight hair, you could just get the straight extensions. Or if you have curly hair and you straighten it, but you also wear a curly, you could also curl your straight extensions. Of course, they had different curl patterns. My curl pattern on the bottom is way curlier than my kind of like looser wave damaged hair <laughs> post -pleredum. curl on top. So these matched. Well, I only do my extensions from here down. I just learned that actually through Irresistible Me. So you don't get tracks for so long. You could see my tracks. That's because I put them all the way up, sometimes up to here. Check them out. If they give me a code, I'll put it in the screen. I'll put all the links and everything in the description box below. If you want to know the ones I have in my hair, I will put those down there as well. There are so many. I didn't even even put all of them in my hair because I just have such fine hair and especially on the sides especially right now postpartum you could see them mm -mm -mm -mm. in love okay back to the video so first we're gonna read the article and then I'm gonna go through some of the comments on the Facebook page where I found this article it's just typical of why I have social anxiety issues and drama just kidding but sort of not it's typical of people who are not involved in this life and the way that they look at us and not only inmates I feel like prison wives, girlfriends, specifically supporters, friends, family members after that, we get more judged than the inmates. I'm totally in a tangent, but let's read the article. And then I'm gonna tell you a recurring dream that I used to have when Adam was in. Oh my gosh, so good, okay. This was from January 26th, 2022, so it's a little bit old, but jail gets facts ordering inmates release from his girlfriend. This is in, oh gosh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Tulipo, no, Tupelo, Tupelo, I don't know, Mississippi. Tupelo, Tupelo, I should ask Siri. Hey Siri, how do you say T-U-P-E-L-O, Mississippi. Okay, I found this on the web for how do you say Tupel, Mississippi. Check it out. Tupel? That's not how you say it. Hurry up, Siri. I don't have time for this. Tupelo. One more time, Siri. Tupelo. Tupelo. Is that right? Somebody tell me if you're from Mississippi or maybe just smarter than me. Okay, so here's what happened. This woman, Stephanie House, her boyfriend's in jail and she wants him home. Hello, we've all been there, done that. Lee County gets this fax and it says that it's the courts and he is issued, granted immediate release. At first they're like, oh, okay. Stephanie House's boyfriend, whatever his name is, Mr. Whoever gets immediate release. And then as they're reading through the fax, they're like, mm. That doesn't look right. That's interesting. That's weird. Uh, there's some irregularities with this fax versus the immediate release faxes that we get from the court 
probably frequently. I don't want to say too frequently because unfortunately it doesn't happen all the time, but like something's wrong with this. We have to look into this. They start looking into it and they realize the fax number that it came from was a number that was spoofed. So it's not the number that it usually comes from. It's not any of like the courthouses or, you know, like the jail buildings or municipal courts or any of that stuff. Then they realized this number had been spoofed. And as they look into it, unfortunately, Miss House, you did not cover your tracks up. Although girlfriend, I'm like tracking all the way. Let me tell you if you've been in your shoes I have been in your shoes my husband was there for 20 years I was in your shoes for 11 and a half years thank God we are out the other side we have all thought of ways for us to do this you got some girl gonads on you you do you got some lady you know what because the fact that you thought of this and decided to go through with it I'm not hating I have respect for you right now unfortunately you did not follow the plan through all the way high five at the attempt like the other prison wife said let the girl out because sis, I feel you. If you guys are interested in the story, I Googled, I researched, I searched as much as I could and I could not find what happened to her. I don't know if the charges were dropped. I don't know if she's serving time on this, but what they did charge her with, I guess they issued a warrant and went to her house or whatever they did. She remained in jail as of Monday, January 24th. I'm sure she was released. I don't know if she was sentenced or not. I have no idea. I followed up on this county's Facebook page. I cannot find anything about her. I guess they've got bigger and better crimes. She was also charged with credit card fraud and possession of drug paraphernalia. So I don't know if she had that on her when they picked her up. I'm sure that's what happened. Lee County is about 170 miles southeast of Memphis, Tennessee, if you care. Let's go back because I did go to the Facebook page that this was originally was posted on. And that's why I was able to search and see if I could find a follow-up, which I couldn't. But I'm gonna go through some of the comments. I felt like they fell into three separate categories. The first one being, support for her and her family, which cool. The second one, which I thought was hysterical. I can't even get a man or a woman. I can't even get somebody to answer a text for me. And this is what this girl does. This is a ride or die chick, which yeah. The third was a whole bucket of, we'll call them Karens, lack of a better phrase. Somebody give me an updated version of Karens because I'm sick of saying it. But basically the like stupid criminal, people never change, do the crime, do time. I hope they throw the book at her, make an example out of her. Now, here's the thing. Had she not gotten caught then, but got caught later, because unfortunately that stuff always catches up to you, they're not just gonna let you walk out of jail. I mean, we literally had an immediate release order from the judge and our attorney working for 48 hours straight. I think I spoke to Adam's attorney more in the 48 hours that we were trying to get Adam out when he was given immediate release because nobody wanted to let him out. They were fighting us tooth and nail. I spoke to Adam's attorney more in those two days than I probably spoke to Adam on the jail phone in all of the years we were together. First of all, that is a testament to how amazing his attorney is. We're very close friends of the family. That's who we're going out to dinner with tonight. What was I gonna say? Oh, they're not letting you out of jail free. You don't get a card. There's no no such thing unless you're playing Monopoly. So it would have caught up, right? There's got to be follow-up paperwork. Adam's on paper means on supervision still for the next year and a half. He's done a year and a half already. So the point is, don't say throw the book at her. Yes, what she did was wrong. Yes, it was fraud. Was it like the worst thing that she could have done? Come on. She would have gotten caught later and she would have gotten sentenced worse. And this is what drives me crazy about sentences not fitting the crime. Throw the book at her, make an example of her, give her a life sentence for this. Then doesn't that water down when somebody is a mass murderer? You know what I'm saying? I'm going down another road that I don't need to go and I'm like, preach girl, yes. But at the same time, let's keep this light and fun. When Adam was inside, I used to have this recurring dream, you guys. It's insane. It took this article and then like me like, oh, this would be such a fun video. Looking this up for this to click in my head and be like, oh my God, I had this dream. And it would happen all the time. Specifics are always different, but the dream was always the same. It's crazy. Adam would always be able to sneak out, escape for lack of a better word, for a night but he would always have to go back. He would always have to leave me before he got caught. What's so interesting about this dream, you guys, it's crazy, is that he would always come see me. We would always like, it would always be overnight. He would always have to leave really early in the morning. We would snuggle. We would never ever in this dream be intimate. Isn't that crazy? Or at least I was aware of. One time, again, this is my dream. He got a hold of a van and he was able to drive off the property, which you guys would never happen because he was in a medium high security. So there were, 
over fences and barbed wire. And if he even tried to get over the fence, he would have gotten electrocuted to death or shot by the armed guard in the tower. I'm saying that to say this did not happen, could not happen, at least where Adam was. And like I said, they always catch you so stupid news. Don't be the guy that runs away from the camp because they're going to find you. And then they're going to punish everybody else for you. Just do your time. Okay. Or fight your appeals. You guys know. But anyways, this one time, this one specifically that I remember, it might've been the last one. He was wearing his khakis, got the van and the guys were helping him. And they were like, listen, just be back by morning. Whatever you do, just be back by morning. And I would always be like, <gasps> and he would obviously always make it back in time. That's always when I woke up. What a crazy dream and what crazy details that I never, ever, ever was intimate with him in these dreams. Now I was never intimate with him before prison either. So maybe that's why I don't know. So interesting. So I'm just curious from you guys, if your loved one's locked up or if you're in a long distance since relationship or just like whatever you want to share. Do you guys ever have that? Like, do you have escape dreams? Do you have plans to obviously not do it, but like, do you guys talk about like, if I was going to break you out, this is how we would do it. We never did. If you don't know this, maybe it's not obvious, but if you have those kind of dreams, don't talk about it. <laughs> don't talk about it on email. Don't talk about it on the phone because here's the thing. Your dream could be code for this is how we're going to do it. No please don't. The whole point in this video was just to keep it light and fun, to tell you about this girl, to get a little laugh, to be like, yes, girl, let's sis out because I understand. Go check out Irresistible Me. Thank you again for sending over this gorgeous hair. They always run sales. If you like this video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. It just helps me out so much. If you are not already subscribed, please do so. So you can join the family. Let me go check on my baby. He is sleeping in his playroom on the floor because sometimes where they land is where they stay. He's gated in. He's fine. My apartment is so small. I could totally hear him, but I better go check on him. I love you guys so, so, so much. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see in the future, what you want to see more of in the future. Okay, just stop talking. Love you guys. Does this make sense? No, I'm a hot mess. I'm all over the place. It's probably time to eat. I went on a long walk slash run and I have a headache, but we got to get this all in before the baby wakes up. Can you guys relate? Give me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you could relate to what ADHD? Mom life? I don't know.